belief. Even the most heartfelt belief can be corroded over time. Justice is a non-corrosive metal. But metals can be melted by the heat of revenge. It's revenge, and it's best served cold. Revenge is best served cold. Kingdom Rush Vengeance is the first game wherein Ironhide tried something new for the Kingdom Rush games. I am talking about the feature wherein you, the player, can mix and match 18 different towers in the game to your 5 slots. Some towers are good, some are bad. But when towers are properly paired with others, then they will dominate the game. So in this video, I will be sharing my top 5 tower combos in Kingdom Rush Vengeance. Also, this video is strictly my opinion and should not be taken as fact. Without that of the way, please enjoy. My fifth combo spot goes to the Goblin Ranks and the Orc Shaman. This combo is actually really good if you think about it. The Goblin Ranks struggle to hit the same target two times unless built in a good spot. To counter this problem, we enter the Shaman, as the Shaman's basic attacks are a guaranteed stun to the enemy, making the Boomerang also guaranteeing the two hit value. Fourth combo goes to the Rotten Forest and the Grim Cemetery. This combo is good in many ways. First being a good choke point for enemies as the zombies will stall while the forest can deal cheap damage to the enemies within its radius. Also, the upgrades of these two towers pair with each other very well. For example, the cold grip of the zombies can slow down enemies for up to 60%, making enemies stay longer in the Rotten Forest. Middle place goes to the Blazing Gem and the Melting Furnace. Now this is one of the combos that I use more often, especially in boss fights. As one of the abilities of the Furnace can boost damage of nearby towers, in this case, the Blazing Gem. As you probably know, the Blazing Gem increased damage over time, like an Inferno Tower from Clash of Clans. Speaking of Clash of Clans, quick shout out to the people who joined my clan, I really appreciate it. Anyways, as the Blazing Gem increased damage, the damage boost of the Furnace increases to the Gem. If you haven't checked out this video about how hard the Blazing Gem hits, then I recommend that video after this one. Second place goes to the Elite Harassers and the Mausoleum. Some might say, why not Dark Knights or the Deep Devils? Well, here is my opinion. If you choose to pair Harassers with the Dark Knights, then 2 out of 5 of your slots will be Barracks, which I don't really recommend. But it also depends on you. Strategies are different. Meanwhile, for the Deep Devils, I just find the fishes squishier than the gargoyles. Sure, gargoyles require extra money, but the investment on them are worth buying. Also, the Deep Devils is a premium tower for mobile players, meaning they need to pay extra. But if you are rich, then this is not really a problem. Ranking first today is a combo that I use almost all the time, and that is Bone Flingers and the War Zeppelin. What bothers me with the Bone Flingers is their short range, but the Goblin Scout upgrade from the Zeppelin really fixes the slight problem. Another good thing about this combo is that these two towers attack really fast, 